I fixed some tutorial bugs, essentially finished the tutorial and worked on rebalancing the game. My name is Garrett and welcome to episode 64 of A Toilet's Cut. Last devlog I worked a majority on the tutorial and I think this week I pretty much have finished it. And I'm, I'm saying pretty much because I don't want to say it's final because it's, it's probably not but it's, it's very close. It was basically just a lot of little tweaks and bug fixes that made some of the text colored so that it was a little bit more clear to the player what the instructions were and looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I also tried just general bug fixing as well as intentionally trying to cause bugs just to see what could go wrong and trying to fix that. I also made a few spelling mistakes. No, no, not again, not again. As well as made the tutorial start with more money so you don't run out of money whenever you're playing. I mean, you still can, but it's like $999 and if you really run out of money at that point, then you're kind of just trying to mess with me, so, so that's not my fault. <laughs> I did a bit of touching up with the menus as well, adding some reinforcing graphics to the difficulty scene. I worked a little bit on touching up some other menus and UI, but it really was very minor. Text is good in moderation, but I think having these extra graphics is a little bit more pleasing. Speaking of pleasing, how do you like this new light setup? Eden House had messaged me a about a month or two back about some potential video quality improvements. And one of them was lighting. And it was just until now that I recently uh, got my, my desk light up back from school and I'm trying it out and it looks it looks great, I think. Um, a lot better than it was before. You can actually see that my eyes are blue. Who knew? <laughs> Besides game development, one of my biggest passions is martial arts. This week, I've been doing a lot more training, trying to drill some more advanced kicks as well as doing some basic tricking techniques because I don't want to come back and be insanely rusty. Um, also, I'd, I'd really like to get outside to train that can at least throw a little bit more stuff in terms of the tricking, uh, but it, the weather hasn't been that nice, so I might have to use the tarp or I might just have to wait. Finally, I worked on balancing the game or essentially rebalancing if you could call what I had before anywhere near balance. <laughs> I unfortunately can't say I had an extremely analytical way of going about balancing with spreadsheets, two game builds, five computers, six consoles, dog cam, cat cam. <laughs> kind of just winged it, to be honest. Basically, for the three main workers, the office worker, speaker, and psychologist, I set all their variables the same for skill and productivity, place one of each at the same time, essentially, and I let them run their course for about two-ish years in game time. And what I did is I checked their rate of saving lives by the statistics manager and I adjusted accordingly. Once I got the initial values, I did some quick math to make sure that they all saved lives at around the same rate. I think I did my math wrong the first time around, but they essentially by the end earned lives at the same rate, or rather saved lives at the same rate. I'm more than likely gonna scale them later because I don't want them to have the exact same rate where they save lives because that's a little bit boring. I'm gonna maybe have some that are more expensive but save lives quicker and some that are cheaper but save lives slower. I've also extended the times for the research upgrades and marketing campaigns because the pace of the game has seemed a little bit fast to me, especially with all the notifications popping up. Uh, I'm still definitely going to mess with this. I honestly might make it a little bit longer, but I really got to do some more playtesting to see how I like the feel of the speed. Because my game isn't that big and that complicated, I think this is an okay way of handling the balancing. It's definitely not optimal, but it works all right. I still have to do a lot of playtesting, but for right now, I'm feeling decently. The one thing I did realize uh, is that I set up the product pretty poorly for balancing everything. It really really isn't that intuitive. It's all fragmented and there's no central location for changing you know, the work or save value race or the, the time to um, get a certain research upgrade. It's really all kind of fragmented, like I said, um, and that kind of made it a little bit tedious when I tried to balance everything. I feel like I've, I've said a lot in the past few weeks that it's okay the way I set things up, but it's, I, I mean, it's, it is, but it's, it's not like it's not good and i should not be an example a lot of this um had this been a bigger project and less close to release uh, i would have definitely gone and restructured everything so it's a little bit easier or rather a lot of bit easier for me to handle um, but that's the thing that kind of just you live and you learn um i made them I've definitely made improvements for my past games on stuff like this, but I still have a long way to go. Uh, so at least I know that for the future. So my question is, I'm I'm trying to figure out the the keybinds for the game, and it's 
kind of had me a little questioning how I want to do it. Essentially now is all the, the shortcuts for the, the keybinds, they are matched or mapped to keys that correspond to what their mechanic is. So for example, uh, for marketing, it's the M key. Uh, for worker, it's the O key because W is taken by the camera movement. Uh, research is R, etc. And I think this is kind of good, but it's kind of difficult because one hand, at least when I play, one hand's on the mouse and the other hand's on W, S, A, and D so you can move the camera. And it makes it kind of difficult to reach across your keyboard to, to get these shortcuts. And it's really, honestly, probably more time consuming and just dragging the mouse and, and clicking the button instead. So I wanted to get your guys' opinion on, for keybinds, would you prefer it that they're closer together so they're easy, more easily accessible or they're kind of more intuitive and make sense for what the mechanic is where they're matched to a key that starts with the same letter or at least close to that? I think I know what I'm going to end up going with, but I'd like to hear your thoughts as well. So this devlog and probably the next couple weeks, they're going to be a little bit lighter on content, partially because of you know school, um, but also because I'm doing a lot of polishing and bug fixing and a little, I guess, more less visible progress. I'm still working on the game essentially the same amount, but because it's getting closer to release, it's a lot less visible stuff. It's a lot of just polish and, and bug fixing. Um, so I guess sorry about that in a way. Uh, I mean, not that I'm not like, sorry, like I, if I did something bad, I'm sorry, but I can't really be sorry for it. Cause that's just kind of how <laughs> things go. Um, I want it to be like a full complete um, product by the end. And I'm going to try to have as less as the least amount of bugs as possible and be balanced. Um, so it's going to be a lot of little tweaks and not much visible stuff. So I'm going to try to, like I did with this one, talk a little bit more about sort of the theory of stuff and, and just kind of generally analyzing what I've been doing. Um, so maybe that can provide a little bit more value. And I'll spring up the release again, like I did last week. I'm looking for the first week of May, which is like, like two weeks um we're, we're gonna be fine we're gonna be fine on the deadline um but i want to get a trailer in i want to really focus on balancing the game and, and fixing as many bugs as possible um so coming soon if you enjoyed and are itching to play the game i mean you can play it in a couple of weeks but if you really want to play it right now you can play the demo on itch thank you for watching i want you to know that i love you i care for you and i'm there for you guys always if you need anything at all just shoot me a message through discord i am more than open to talking about anything if you need anything at all please let me know until next time for me and the commanders we're saying goodbye and we will see you in the next devlog for some more fun bye everyone